Here at The Open Group, we understand how the number of resources available online today can be overwhelming and time consuming. So we created a comprehensive, trustworthy solution called The Open Group Library. Built for the broad needs of enterprise architects, it offers a wide range of vetted publications, including technical standards and frameworks, reference architectures, guides, models, tools, webinars, white papers, and more. Today, Andrew Josie, our VP of Standards and Certification, will take us on a tour of the Open Group Library, demonstrating how to use the advanced browsing capabilities and how to personalize the library to show only what matters to you. So now, let's go to Andrew to see the library in action. Thanks for that introduction, Steve. Um, this is Andrew Josie here from the Open Group. I'm here to talk about uh, the Open Group Library here on Toolkit Tuesday. And I'll be doing that by actually sharing my screen. Uh, without further ado, let's get going on that now. In today's session, we're going to cover the Open Group Library. We'll look at where you can find the library, an overview of what is in the library, and also how to download items from the library. So where do we find the library? Well, you can just go straight to the Open Group homepage, go to the top bar, and you will see the library on the right. So we go to the top bar, and here we see the library on the right. You can either click on the main library link or into specific subsections of the library. And here now, we're gonna to go to the top of the main library. You will see we have categories of documents across the top of the library. These range from the open group standards, uh, certification information, guides, the open group guides, data sheets, giving uh, various information, our extensive collection of webinar recordings and white papers, and also a range of other topics ranging from agile and Archimate models all the way through to videos, templates and videos. So you will also see on the front page, we have five topic-based sub-libraries uh, that range from TOGAF all the way to security. And we're going to look at each of these libraries in order. First, let's look at the TOGAF library. This is curated by the Open Group's Architecture Forum. And at the current time, there are 150 documents in the TOGAF library. Going down the page, we have some quick links to the various document types. So the standard itself, the translation glossaries. Uh, we now have 26 translation glossaries. Last time I counted them in 15 different languages. We have the TOGAF series guides, which contain extensive guidance on applying the TOGAF framework. We have links to specific uh, TOGAF specific study guides, white papers, webinars, and also reference cards. We then have a section of resources. These are key pieces of high level information that are within three clicks of the Open Group's homepage. There are two aspects to this, some downloads and also the virtual bookshelf. Let's look at the virtual bookshelf and show you how that works. So let's look at the TOGAF reference cards. Let's click here into the TOGAF reference cards. Let's take these to full screen. And then let's see how you would flip through a few pages. So as you can see, this is a, um, an attractive and simple way to actually sample some of the open group documents. Put that down back on the bookshelf. Other resources we have on the virtual bookshelf are a number of brochures, and we have a sample of the study guide there if you're interested in uh, becoming TOGAF certified. We also have a link and a brochure about TOGAF role-based badges. That's where if you collect several certifications, you can actually build up specific badges for roles um, for different aspects of TOGAF enterprise architecture. And those badges also come in at a number of different levels from team member and practitioner. 
Scrolling down, we then get into the library itself. This is organized by the Architecture Forum according to the Enterprise Continuum, which is a classification mechanism for enterprise architecture. Uh, ranges from sort of uh, generic foundation level resources um, through to industry specific resources, then onto organization specific resources. And then we get down into various documents itself, which you can sort by various orders. Now that was a quick look at the TOGAF library. Let's now move on to the Archimate library. Then we go back to the top of the library. We'll scroll down and we'll view the Archimate library. Now this is organized in a similar way to the TOGAF library as all the libraries are. We have a number of resources freely available with no registration. So as I say, those are available within three clicks of the home page. These include reference cards and two information sheets. One about the exchange format, the other about um, TOGA, um, Archimate certification. We also have a virtual bookshelf with browsable resources. So again, you can see there we've got the reference cards. And here we also have a video from the, um, the founder of the modeling language, so the founder of the Archimate modeling language, Mark Lancorse, where he's discussing what's new in the latest version and you know, what's new in, in the Archimate 3.1 specification. Scrolling down, we then see various documents which can be filtered by category. So again, you can do um, standards guides, case studies, data sheets. Um, many of those categories overlap with those at the top of the library, but um, we do have some additional ones such as case studies and Archimate models that are more easily available on this part of the library. So let's go back again to the home page. And now let's visit the IT for IT library. Okay, so IT for IT has a similar familiar layout. Again, a collection of fr free resources within three clicks with no registration required. Um, this includes reference cards again, and also some brochures. Um, some of them, one of them, a case study, the interesting case of who's using the IT for IT standard. We have a bookshelf again with a couple of white papers on there. So there's the uh, shift of the digital product white paper. And there's also a um, the latest snapshot of the uh, IT for IT V3 spec. And we have a couple of YouTube videos from members of the uh, IT for IT forum talking about um, the specification. If we scroll down, let's get scrolling down, we can see there are 68 documents in this library with the categories as shown on the left. Moving back to the home page, we will then look at the uh, Dig Digital Practitioner Library, uh, also known as the DP Bot Library, Digital Practitioner Body of Knowledge Library. Uh, again, we will see no surprises here. A similar layout again with the free resources at the top, the virtual bookshelf, and then there's a short video, um, or what we call a video short uh, on YouTube, which is a two minute video just uh, giving you the overview of the standard. And then again, we see the categories um, of documents that are available. Only 17 documents are available in this uh, sub library at the moment. Um, it's a fairly new topic area, that, but uh, we expect it to expand as. Um, Digital is a, uh, an area of much interest at the moment. Moving back one last time to the top. And let's go visit the security library. This is a recent addition as a sub library. So it's actually not quite as uh, well developed as the other sub libraries at the moment. Um, for now, we only just have the virtual bookshelf um, with a few resources that need no registration. Um, you can look at um, the Zero Trust Core Principles document on there. You can also look at the uh, OAA security playbook. The library itself has a rich um, set of information in a number of areas, uh, in particular risk analysis with the open fair body of knowledge and zero trust architecture, which is a particularly hot topic at the moment.
Okay, let's move on to something a bit different now. So let's go back to the home page again. I want to now show you how to download a document and add it to your own personal collection. And I'm going to do this with two examples. Uh, firstly, how to download one of the PDF documents. And then secondly, how to access one of our online HTML documents through the Open Group Library. OK, let's first look at um, downloading a PDF document. Now, the document I am interested in is what we call a snapshot of the forthcoming IT for IT version 3 standard. And I know it's related to the topic of digital. Now, I could browse by category, mainly as I happen to know that a snapshot is a preview of a standard and so would be listed under that category. However, most people won't know about that. And so the simplest way for most people will be to use the search box. So in fact, let's move on to a different tab where I've already logged in and let's just type something into the search box. So let's type IT or IT oh, digital snapshot and return. And you will see it's turned up as number one in the search results. I can click on that to get more information. This is an interesting one, actually, because um, it's actually got a QR code displayed uh, with the publication, uh, which actually, if you click, if you uh, use your camera to link to that, that will actually take you into LinkedIn and uh, you can join the LinkedIn group uh, that is uh, that is there for the Open Group IT for IT forum, which I won't do right now. This page contains an overview about the publication and you can scroll down for more details. Now, you need to be logged in in order to download most documents, apart from the ones that we saw earlier at the top of the sub libraries. Once you are logged in, the icon shown will say add to downloads. When you're not logged in, it will actually tell you to log in first there. Now, you click on that and the item will be added to your My Downloadable Products page. So let's do that. And here it is. And it's at the top of the My Downloadable Products page. You can see here I I've downloaded quite a few documents. I can then click on the document. And that will actually, depending on how your browser is set up, that will actually display the document. And you can usually download and print, but these are sort of features of your browser rather than anything else. So that's a quick way to actually just show you how to download one of the PDF documents. Now let's go back to the library. Let's go back to the library again. And I want to actually view a HTML standard online this time. So this time I want to find the online HTML version of one of our standards, the DP box standard. Now, again, there's a couple of ways that I could find this. Um, but this time I'm actually going to go through the sub library that we saw earlier. So let's go find the sub library for DP box. And I'm just looking for the standard. Now, interesting here, there's some overview presentations if I actually wanted to go and look and get an overview before I go down to the standard. But so uh, let's scroll down. We look in standards. And here we go. We've got the, the Digital Practitioner Body of Knowledge standard. There's a technical core agenda, which has actually already been incorporated into the above standard. And there's an evaluation license. Let's have a look at the Digital Practitioner Body of Knowledge Standard. Again, this is the information page. Uh, here we can, you can see a couple of things here. Download as PDF member edition or read the HTML edition online. Obviously, if you're not an employee of a member of the open group, you won't be allowed to do the first one. So in fact, this time I actually wanted to show you how we're going to read a HTML version of a document online. So I'm gonna add that to my downloadable products page. And I will click on that. That will then call the publication system in a second, which will then redirect you to our online publication site. So we actually have a sister sort of site that um, just carries a lot of our online HTML versions of the document. And here we are into the Digital Practitioner Body of Knowledge Standard. 
in the uh, left panel, you can see we have some resources again. So there are other documents that you can download and that login. We also have, as you scroll down here, the ability to um, look at um, the digital practitioner body of knowledge standard in a couple of different views, a single page view and multi-page view. We're actually in multi-page view here at the moment where the document is split into lots of sub documents. You can also go into single page view, which will actually pull the whole document down in one, which can be useful if you want to do a search. Um, we also, let's go back to the multi-page view and just point out at the bottom, we also have some links to some related standards. So you can also go and read the Open Agile Architecture Standard Online and the IT for IT Standard Online. Let's now briefly look at the online edition of the Open Agile Architecture Standard. And here you'll see it's pretty much a similar layout to that of the Digital Practitioner Body of Knowledge Standard. Now we have a table of contents. We have the ability to look at it in a single page and a multi-page view. And we also have here the OAA Security Playbook, a recent addition to the Open Agile Architecture project that has been published. If we now select Home, that will take us back to the Open Group Library homepage. So I wanted to wrap up now with um, some questions that I've received and uh, hopefully give you some answers to them. Um, start off with some simple ones that I've got here. Uh, how do I find the Open Group Library? Well, as we mentioned, the uh, simplest way is to go to the Open Group's homepage and then select the library link on the top bar. If you do want a easy to remember URL, then go to www.opengroup.org slash library. And that's a permanent URL, so that will redirect you automatically to the current version of the library. Occasionally, from time to time, we will change our software. Um, another question was, do I need to register to access resources in the Open Group Library? And the answer to that is yes. To access the full range of resources, you do need to first obtain a web account with the Open Group. Um, the way you can do that is to go to the home page again and um, select at the top, login. And on that login page, if you don't have an account, there is a link to actually create an account. Um, you can, however, browse without an account and there are some free resources as we have shown, especially in the uh, subtopic libraries. What type of free resources are there available for those without an account is another question we've had. And as I mentioned, there are um, a number of reference cards, information sheets, a couple of sample documents, some white papers that are available in the entry points um, to the uh, sub libraries. Just remind you again, the sub libraries are um, the five topic areas we've got there. Another question we often get is, um, what are the most popular downloads? Um, if we look at the last quarter, I looked at some stats before I um, decided to record this, uh, this session today. Um, the TOGAF standard version 9.2 is the most popular download in the last quarter and downloaded just under 6,000 times. Seven of the top 10 document downloads um, are TOGAF 9 related publications. I think that's number numbers one to six and also number 10, including the full TOGAF series guide set, the TOGAF template deliverables, as well as the introductory white paper. Also in the top 10 is the Archimate 3.1 specification, which comes in at number seven, and the Open Agile Architecture Standard, which comes in at number eight. The only non-architecture download um, to make the top 10 in, uh, in this last quarter was the Zero Trust Core Principles white paper from the Security Forum. Another question we have is what are the most popular downloads of all time? And no surprises there that uh, most of those, in fact, I think the top 15, 16 are, are TOGA related titles. Well, that concludes today's Toolkit Tuesday session looking at the Open Group Library. I'm Andrew Josie from the Open Group. I've shown you today where the library is. I've given you an overview of the contents of the library and also giving you a demonstration of how to download a couple of items from the library. So it's now down to you to go out and explore the library. Uh, thank you very much for watching and join us next time for the next Toolkit Tuesday coming soon.
As you've seen, the Open Group Library expertly combines information from multiple sources and securely delivers it on demand and in the right context for the user. This access to integrated information which supports business process improvements is at the heart of our company's mission. Explore the library and download resources by logging in or signing up at publications.opengroup.org. I'm Steve Nunn. Thank you for watching Toolkit Tuesday.